you know, this is something that we wish it didn't have to be this way, but it has to be this way. It is what it is. It is what it is. Things change. Time changes. Time moves on. And uh, people in life typically get worse. Like most people in life, folks, they absolutely get worse. Like even the people I knew from the past, most of them, they get worse with time. Like big time, big, 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 big time. I'm not even talking about aging. I'm talking about getting worse, getting more toxic, more negative, unwilling to just, you can't be in their presence and have a good time. Like you're just repulsed by most people. And like, it's the complete polar opposite with your life. Your life is going up. You're getting better. You're becoming more attractive. You're just getting better in, in every single area you could possibly think so. It's not it's not gonna match up and every chosen one is gonna live that kind of a life. Like you're going to be getting better, better, brothers and sisters. You're going to be getting better. So this is why most friends and family have to get left behind. All chosen ones must walk away from friends and family. It's just the way it is. It's an unfortunate reality at first, but it's something you have to do. And if there's any other family members that is living the same similar existence as yourself, they might be hardcore down another road and you guys can relate. If so, that's great. But for most things, it's not going to be that way. Your tribe, for the most part, is going to be placed in different places around the world as chosen ones. That's what it's going to be. Most people ain't going to be good for you, bro. If you were chosen, most people is not going to be good for you. Like, you could be good for them. They're not good for you. And that is not something that we can stick around for because our lives are taken off. Like, we just do certain things. We do things very specifically. And we're not here to let people drag us down because most people, bro, they're going to drag us down. Let's be real. They're gonna drag us down. They're not fun to be around. They're not a good time. I like to work hard, play hard. I like to have a good time. Like all the time. <laughs> That's what I like to do in a healthy way. I don't I don't care about drinking. I don't care about partying and booze and all that stuff. I'm a very clean person. I rarely ever let alcohol even touch my tongue. I rarely do anything that's unhealthy. Like it would be rare for it to happen. That's how much I don't do those things, but I like to have a good time. I like to stay healthy, stay fit, have a good time, and just kind of dance through life, vibe through life, work hard, play hard. That's what I like to do. That's my mentality. It's been that way, and it's going to end that way. And if people ain't about that light, bro, like, you can't be around them. You just cannot be around them. They're going to... You already know. It's not good. There's all kinds of craziness going on out there, bro. Like, even all the lies in plain sight. Just the people that, they're just not about that life. They're just not about anything, really. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on out there? I don't know. I like passionate people. That's what I've come to learn. Like, I like passionate people who are full of life, who have energy, who want to do things, who want to have a good time in a healthy way and stay fit and, and have fun and kick ass. Like, I don't care for the people who want to destroy their health to have a good time. Like, that's your definition of a good time is to destroy your health, is to get messed up to the next day, just to feel depressed and anxiety and all these crazy kinds of emotions. That's your time of fun because I want to get up the next day on a Sunday and have fun again. And you know why we can do that is because we're healthy. We eat right. We sleep right. We get the right foods. We get the right ingredients. We always have energy. 
we we're, we're always up for a good time but whenever you want to do those unhealthy things you come crashing down and the next day you can you can you're just you're you're out you can barely move all these individuals who do those things absolutely suffer with mental health issues i don't care what nobody says they all do all those people hell whenever i was partying the most in high school i was at my worst mentally in a darker place just from experiencing it you don't notice it at first but it catches up and that's who you are and when you step away it's like damn like i'm not even close to the best i can be and that's whenever you just skyrocket and become the best you can be that stuff is never the answer it never will be you do it once on an occasion and take care of yourself after you do it if alcohol touches my tongue, I'm rehydrating that same night. I'm getting up the next day and I, have, I still have energy. I can still do things because I don't overdo it even when I do do it. But most people, that's what they do. That's their way of fun. There's nothing fun to me about that. You are a low vibrational person. You're not fun. I like, I like, I, I like passionate people, bro. Who have good energy like all the time that's what I like and there's not that many people around that's that way like at all most people is dead like you go outside you look around bro it's like <laughs> there's people but they're not even alive what is going on? I go into a supermarket. And people are just slow. That's most individuals. And this is why chosen ones have to walk away from just a lot of the time, friends and family. If they don't want to be on the same path as us, and not literally the same path, but like, you keep up with yourself. You stay on top of your health and fitness. You stay on top of your stuff. You stay healthy. You stay attractive. You stay vibrant. I don't care who you are. You have to keep up. You have to, you have to be that way. You can't just be killing yourself during the weeks. Like, bro, most people live their lives dreading Monday to Friday all to get messed up on the weekends to then dread Monday to Friday again and mess up on the weekends, dread Monday to... So they're always living a life of just complete delusion. Like they have to get messed up to escape their... Bro, I don't want to escape my reality. I want to have a good reality like all the time. That's the goal. Is to have a good reality all the time. We don't want to be escaping our reality. That is a bunch of washed... BS, but it's what people think they have to do because it's the system. Yeah, of course the system wants you to live that way. Hell, half your friends and family, if not more, want you to live that way. And this is why when you refuse to live that way, you find yourself walking away. It's and Like I said at the start of this video, folks, I want to make this very clear. It's not because we just want to do that. It's like we're forced to do that. We have to do that because people put so much on us. We want to live our lives the way we, we want to live our lives. None of them want to be a part of it. None of them want us to even do it. They're not okay with, with how we want to live our lives. And the better we become, the more distant we become from those people. We're just not the same. We don't think the same. We can't even talk. We can't even have a conversation. We can't do anything. You can literally do nothing with those people. They're just not on the same wavelength. They don't understand the language you speak. They can't keep up with you. They couldn't even hop on a bike beside you and bike down the road because they'd be gassed out because they're unhealthy. They can't go swimming with you because they can't even swim. Like the, the list goes on. They can't keep up. You see what I'm saying? But fit and healthy people, they can. Hey, bro, these individuals, most people can do bare minimum. Most people's, mo most people's health is just diminished 
in mind and body. So you have to get your health in mind and body on point to even be around somebody like me. Because most people is delusional. Most people live these self-destructive lives. What in the hell is that? And this is why chosen ones have to walk away from friends and family. Unless they're about that life. How many are? Not too damn many. You'd be lucky to have a couple. I have zero family that's that way. Zero. As for friends, <laughs> very few. Very, very few. Very few. And not even a lot where I come from. Most of them's not even where I come from, bruh. And the ones that where I come from, a lot of the time, they're doing their own thing or they move away and they come back and it's always a good time when they come back. But it's like, there's not enough energetic people that want to get after it, bro. There's not nearly enough. While we're so full of life, full of passion, ready to go all the time, people so dead. That's the world, bro. People don't want to do shit. People don't want to have a good time. They just want to self-destruct. Wallow in self-pity and drink and weed and all this bullshit to ruin their health because they don't like their life. Anybody who does that stuff, they don't like their life. They don't. You can't tell me any different. And I'm not saying you can't have a sip of alcohol now and then. But people that live that life, they drink on the weekends all the time. Even if you drink like once, even every couple weeks, that's still not good. You don't like your life as much as you might claim you do. You don't. I don't care who you are. You don't. Alcohol is almost never the answer. It should be an occasional little celebration type of thing. Like smoking a cigar. You should never just constantly smoke cigars. Because you're going to get addicted. And it's going to become a problem. Like bad addictions ruins your life. I know what it's like to be addicted to nicotine. It ruins your life. I know what it's like to be addicted to weed. It ruins your life. I was never addicted to alcohol. I never really liked alcohol. I never even went on benders or nothing. I never liked it that much. Thank God. Because some people drink a little too much and they get addicted. And I've never experienced that. I've never experienced alcohol withdrawals. Anytime I drink, it's like, I got to get that out of my system. I never consecutively drink and, and all that stuff. Like, never. Alcohol is poison. Like, I knew how bad it was. I knew how bad it was all the time. That's not something I want in my system a lot. At all. Because it's poison. It's, 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 it's bad, bro. It is bad. Too much of it will kill you. Too much weed, not going to kill you. Too much nicotine, probably not going to kill you. At least right away. Over time, it will. But too much alcohol, even one night, can kill you. Like, it's poison. So what do you think the people that drink it are like? Poison. Your mind is poison. You're polluted. It's worse than you think. And this is why chosen folks, bro, have to walk away from so many friends and family because too many people be living that life. Too many people neglect their health. Too many people are not in the greatest mood. They're not ready to get up and get after it and do fun things, be energetic, be fun to be around, be funny, charismatic, just to be a good time to be around, come up with ideas and plans and just full of life and adventure. Those are my kind of people, bro. There's not that many people where I come from that are that way. There's not. But those are my kind of people. And... That's why we become, at some point, forced to walk away from certain select people, which a lot of the time, it is friends and family. And it's not what we just wanted. It's what we have to do. Because we start to get so good, so clean, so pure. And over time, it's like, we're going in that direction. So over time, as we're going in that direction, 
the others are going in the opposite direction. So we veer off so far, like we're not even close no more. At one point in time, you were a bit closer to them. Now, completely different. And that's just the way it goes. Like, I like the people I like. I like passionate people. That's what I like. People who have a brain. People who can conversate. People who know how to have a good time. I don't like junkies. I don't like people who's uninspired, unmotivated, just has this settling mindset. I, I like chaos, bro. I do like peace, but I also like chaos. Too much peace, no good. You need some chaos. I love my peace and chaos. I like to have good times. And my type of chaos is not drinking alcohol and drugs and the booze and all that other kind of stuff. That's not my chaos. I like to get after it in the gym chaotically. I like to just jump into ice baths without th thinking twice. Chaos. I like to train MMA, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, chaos. I like sports, chaos. That's the kind of chaos I like. Climb trees, go biking, down trails, chaos. That's the kind of chaos I like. I like adventure. I like to feel alive. And as for everybody else, not so much and it's disappointing but that's what they're like you're not like that even a lot of my old past friends uh, they used to be the way I'm describing they used to do fun shit and it got to a point where alcohol and drugs got too far in the way they started changing their identities they started to become not the people they used to be I'm veering off that's why I'm saying chosen ones have to walk away from friends and family most of the time. Unless they're they're gonna they're gonna be the same thing. Which it's rare. It can happen, but it's rare. And this is how she goes, bruh. Most people like to live dysfunctional existences. I like to stay the best version of myself at every age putting in work, doing my best, having a good time, listening to tunes, just getting after in life. You know, doing things that matter. Not becoming a product of a drug or alcohol and my identity changes and I'm a worse human being. And that, that stuff is terrible, bro. That stuff is terrible. Like at the age of 18, I started to feel affected by things I was doing. And like, I could feel myself changing and it's like I instantly snapped out of it because I knew that's not how my life is going to go. Like I knew it. Even when I was doing certain things, I knew I wasn't going to keep doing those things. I knew I was going to go after it in life. But those individuals, they keep at it. They keep going. They become unhealthier. They get out of shape. They're filled with booze. They're filled with drugs. And it's like, what, what kind of a life is that? Those people are not fun people to be around, bro. A lot of the time, they become haters. I had a friend that turned alcoholic, and he became a huge hater of mine. He would act cool to my face. But the things that happened, <laughs> yeah, no longer my friend. And I did a lot for that guy. I did a lot for that guy. But that's what alcohol will do, bro. Like, it's not even them. They're under attack by something that's not even them. It's their fault for drinking it. It's their fault for being consumed in some sort of drug or something that changes their own identity. But it's like, that's the type of shit we got to walk away from. This is why chosen ones must walk away from these people. It comes down to these things, folks. It comes down to these things. They don't get us. Okay. They don't respect us. Okay. And it's because they don't respect themselves. We get respected by higher up people in the world, but our own families and friends won't respect us, there's something going on. It is a them problem, and when they, when people cause problems, we gotta walk away from that. That's what we gotta do. It's no good for us. It's gonna bring us down. And it's funny, because they'll do everything to ruin it and call us bad people for walking away, not tolerating their abuse. And they don't even see it. They don't even see it, bro. They think we should just, oh, we're family. You should just, how dare you walk away? Like, stay. <laughs> yeah, 
No, definitely not. I'm not going to stay here. Look what, look what you are. And if we were to ever say that to them, oh, they're taking a hissy fit. We can't even hold people accountable. They can't even see past their own BS. It is ridiculous. But when we were younger, most of this stuff, most of these problems didn't even exist, bro. Like, let's be real. When we were younger, most people weren't drug addicts. Most people weren't alcoholics. I didn't grow up in an alcoholic, like, family. Like, cousins, nothing was alcoholics. Friends, nothing like that. Like, we're all too young to even get to those things. Everything was cool. None of this stuff exists. No problems. It's like everything's just good. Everyone's full of energy, adventurous, fun, doing fun things. All of a sudden, you get to the age of about uh, an early adult, and things start to change for the worst. They start to get into that. You get away from that. You go down the path of greatness, they go down the path of degeneracy. And it's because you was chosen. So you got to walk away from friends and family if you have to. Most of the time, you have to. If you're chosen. <sighs> and this is how she goes, man. This is how she goes. It's just funny, too, how these people will make us out to be the bad people. That's what's funny. And they know deep down inside we're not. But it's still a narrative they run through their heads sometimes. Like, they think we're selfish. They think... They just don't understand fully. Like, bro, <laughs> you're a nuisance. Like, bro, you're not tolerable to be around. Like, you're not fun. Like, how could I be around you? You're not fun. This sucks. I'd rather be by myself. Your energy sucks. It's terrible. You're not in a good place. We can't even hold a conversation. We can't talk about things I'd like to talk about. Like, there's nothing there. And that's because you elevated, they declined. That's what happens in life. It don't matter if it's family. It don't matter if it's friends. It don't matter if it's nobody. It don't matter if it's your damn girlfriend or boyfriend. If you're together with somebody and you continue to get better and they continue to get worse because they want to drink and go out with their girls every weekend and drink, guess what? When you're the committed one, you're going to veer off from that person. You're not going to get along. Things ain't going to work. And you're going to have to go your separate way. Me and the past girl that I used to be with, when I was 20 and she was 19, that's the last time that that went on. From 16 to 15, from 20 to 19. And guess what she chose? Degeneracy. She went to Virov, experienced life, experienced the clubs. At 19, do this drinking for two or three years. And by the time things are there, I'm 23, she's 22, she wants to come back. I can't do it. And you know why? Because in those three years, I was elevating. I was getting better. I was on my shit. I was becoming an adult. And you know what happens to people that use those years to just party and do all that kind of stuff? They don't become an adult. They're still a child. They just think life is free. Life is fun. I can just party and do all this stuff. No consequences. Things will be the same. Things will just be great. <laughs> you see how that worked out? Not good. You look at this person, it's like they just don't have that same spark. They don't have that same sparkle, that same specialness. It's gone. And it's like, you're even better than you were because that's how you spent your time. They did the opposite. You're not going to be there, you know? It was much closer when we were both younger. <laughs> we were much closer. And your life decisions has caused this. And this is sometimes how it goes, folks. Like, things change very fast in life. And that's the whole point of this video is things change. So when you change for the better, you're going to have to be only around people who have gotten better in life. That's how it's going to be. There's no other way around it. You won't be compatible with your friends, with certain girls, with family. So there's a lot of people you got to walk away from. 
and be patient for people who's more compatible with, with you when it comes to friends, when it comes to the girls of your selection, or if you're a girl, the guys of your selection, or family. And this is a great in-depth video that makes a lot of sense. It's all the truth. You're only going to be compatible with people who have lived similar ways as you have. Things won't always be perfect, but you got to be, you got to men with people who's a little closer to you. You know, a, a little closer. And every single time in life, folks, you will always get what you deserve. You will always be around people in the end who you deserve to be around with. That's how it goes. So if you messed up your life, that's on you. Only you can fix it. Only you can make life better by your own actions. It's accountability. This is the way it goes. So chosen ones, don't be afraid to walk away from friends, family, girls, guys. Whatever you have to walk away from, do it. If it serves you, do it.